Hey, what's up guys? This is Crafty Fox of Minecraft Military Force, and today we're going to be building the M270. So this is a multiple launch rocket system, or MLRS, and it's used by the United States Army as a rocket artillery. So yeah, you might have seen this in the building the entire U.S. Army in Minecraft video, and it's built by uh, Bob. Uh, so here's Bob's skull, <laughs> since he's not here for the video. Um, but yeah, we're going to be building uh, one version with it down, and one of them has the rocket launcher extended so this is going to be our base model and we're going to convert it depending on uh, whichever one you want so first we're going to start with the tread so take an observer block and add one so it's facing the front like that and we want to make it nine blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine and just skip two blocks in the middle and add the other side the same exact thing and this is going to be a bit tricky let me do the other side like this Alright, so once we have that, we can take our um, uh, birch button and add it to the sides of all these dispensers or observers. And then we're going to add uh, stone brick stairs to the back of the treads. And the front, we're going to add stone brick slab like this. And you want to make sure the front one is facing the other direction. I think that's the right one. All right, so once you do that, we're gonna add the front, so that is smooth sandstone block. And we're gonna add a row of four in the front, like so. And add a stone buttons to the sides for the headlights, I guess. And a tripwire hook on the side. Then we're gonna add a sandstone slab on the inside, like this. Then we're gonna go to the back and add a sandstone stairs and all the way across and make it curved at the edge like this all right and the bottom let's add um, sandstone slabs in between the observer blocks and extend it so it's like the floor like so all right then we're going to take uh, sandstone uh, what do you even call it? A cut sandstone, that's what they call it now. And we're going to add three to each side like this. And then there will be sandstone slabs, like a C shape. Like that. And uh, we need to actually follow this one. So there is sandstone slab inside here. Then stairs behind it. And behind that sandstone, or just smooth sandstone all the way in this section here fill it in and the back there is this four block wide part the end of the launcher four blocks wide then we're gonna add um, uh, birch shaft doors four of them close them all up and on top we're gonna add sandstone um, slabs like this all right and now let's work on this cab over here. So there will be um, a cut sandstone here. Let's add a birch button to the side of it. Then behind it, there will be a um, smooth sandstone block. It just goes all the way back. So it's like a C shape again, like that. And then we're going to add trap doors to the sides and push them down like so. All right, and then this part in the front, we can add a uh, birch stairs like this, four blocks wide. <clears throat> the side is a uh, birch fence like this. Then um, over here, upside down sandstone stairs for a little window. And behind that, smooth sandstone again. And behind that is sandstone slabs. And on top, we're going to add a 2x3 of sandstone slabs. And two iron bars right here, both sides. Alright, it's coming together quite nicely. And um, I think that's pretty much it for our base model. And now we're going to modify it. Actually, wait a minute, we need to add in this little detail. Just an open birch fence gate on the inside of that. All right, and there is nothing here, right? So once we do that, now let's convert it 
Um, first, let's actually make uh, the lower down one. So this version is actually pretty simple. We're just gonna take um, smooth sandstone block and spilled one over here. Just go all the way across uh, to that slab over there and make a box around it. Like so, you can fill in this middle area in and that part. So we're gonna leave like a two by two of uh, birch wooden planks. And actually, it's actually slabs, so just <laughs> have it hovering above in this area and then the rest is sandstone slabs like this all the way across like so and then we're going to add in um, a stone button to the side like this and what else you know I wonder why this one doesn't have it so I'm going to add it just for some detail on the raised one. Alright, so now we're going to add um, a wooden sign right here to the side. In 1.14, I think there's going to be like new colored signs, so you can probably change it to like a birch one. I think that would look a lot better. And um, I think that's pretty much it for the lowered one. Now let's extend it. So to extend it, we need to add in um, this thing in the middle. So how are we going to do that? Uh, let's start from the back. So there's a row of upside down sandstone stairs. Above that is smooth sandstone, like a C shape. Inside this area, there is um, <laughs> what do you call it? Birch uh, wooden planks, or you can use a slab. And then another one dangling up. Then we're gonna have a C shape using sandstone slabs, like this. The next one, it's a row of sandstone or smooth sandstone. And then after that, it's going to be upside down sandstone uh, stairs facing each other. So you want to make sure like there's like two holes to it. So it looks like this. See, there's two uh, holes. Then we're going to add sandstone slab right underneath it. And behind that, another row of sandstone. Behind that, a uh, two by three or two by four smooth sandstone block. And let's add in this uh, stone button to the side so that lines up with the birch. And in the front, there's gonna be four uh, sandstone slabs like that. And also a birch <laughs> trap door, four blocks wide on top. All right, so now we need to make the arm to connect it all together. Um, so let's add sandstone slabs, a row across. Then this next one, there's going to be two uh, sandstone slabs in the middle. Then it goes diagonally down with another slab, so how are we going to do this? Let me try to add it right now. So I just place some more um, sandstone blocks. Let's see what I did over here. Okay, so it's kind of floating. Hmm, so I guess we do something like that. And the next one is another sandstone slab, so that goes diagonally down, so you should have like an arm right in the middle to raise up the rocket launcher. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the M270 MLRS a multiple launch rocket system by Bob. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do, remember to smash that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.